to my spine. <laughs> Bitch, hold on. <sighs> I'm back. Okay. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Okay. Hey guys, welcome. Hey guys, welcome to my. Hey guys, welcome. Hey guys, welcome back to my. Come back to my. Welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome. 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 Hey
And it's not even like a clean up, like scrubbing shit, wiping shit. I make sure I do that every morning. But like by the nighttime or like later in the day, I just kind of like to organize shit. Like, you know, should be like maybe clothes is like everywhere in a way or like maybe certain things aren't where it's supposed to be. So like I kind of just like organize everything back to where it's supposed to be. OCD type shit. So yeah. So that's what I was doing. So I got to my room and I was like, okay, now I'm going to clean my room. I cleaned the kitchen, can clean the living room. Now I'm going to clean my room. My bae had his journal here. So I keep mine in a drawer and he had his out. I never read his shit ever until today, <laughs> until this day, okay? I was cleaning, right? And the way like my bed frame shit is set up like my, what's the shit called, a headboard or whatever the case may be. It was like, I had, I would try to lift it up so I can like move it. Cause I was like moving my room around or whatever the case may be. Cause I hate having my shit the same way for too long. So I was moving around my room, my bed, my bed frame, my dressers, everything. So I picked up the shit, everything fell off of, uh, that was on my headboard. Like everything fell off, like my books, um, his book, my fucking perfumes, like everything fell. So I'm like, okay, cool. I got hella shit on the floor. I go and I pick everything back up. Once I get everything where I needed to go, I pick everything back up and his journal was still on the floor. So I pick it up, but his journal is like, you know, like when a book is like open, but it's like on the, you let me, let me show y'all. So this is, say this is his book. What, what book is this? This is my journal. Ooh. <laughs> so this is his book, right? So it falls, right? Everything is going all over, whatever. And his book is like this on a random shit. And his shit is just laying on the floor all like fucked up like this, basically. Like just all on the floor fucked up like this. So I go and pick up his book, but I didn't pick it up like... I go and pick his book up like instead of picking his book up like you know like this and having it closed I picked it up like this and I just flipped it around honestly was that be was that me being nosy maybe but honestly I was just picking up the nigga book like I had shit on the tv I picked up the book boom when I flipped the book around I seen my name okay honestly I don't think I seen my name I seen something about our relationship like the first sentence was like either i love her bud or desi and some shit okay but it has something to do with me so when i seen that shit i was like mm -hmm. i was like the fuck and then i was like damn like do i read this or not i'll be taking stuff as like signs from god and maybe i should stop doing that but i just really be feeling like that's what it is now i'm never going to od be trying to go through a nigga phone or go through his shit i'll speculate and like maybe have shit like okay maybe this is going on because the vibe is off but i'm not gonna for like really like oh yeah tonight like i'm going through that nigga's phone like tonight i'm going through that no if i wake up and your phone just happens to be next to me you feel me? Knowing your phone never is next to me. Your phone just happens to be next to me. And I'm already having these feelings and these emotions. And you're giving me weird ass vibes. And your phone just happens to be next to me when I wake up in the morning. Or in the middle of the night, baby. Yeah. Boom, open the notebook and I see what I see. He basically he was saying he wants attention from other he wants attention from other bitches. I didn't take it as anything like hurtful because I feel like that's understanding. Like you're a young man and i feel like that that's something that a lot of people probably feel like like you want even whether you're single or not single i feel like a lot of people do kind of want attention from women or men and shit like that and it's not like abnormal it's not nothing that's weird it's just like we're human like that's just shit we want there's actually people out here who are attention seekers and they actually like crave for that shit and it's od but i feel like everybody in their own way likes attention if you say oh no i don't like attention i hate attention the bitch you're lying because if your nigga didn't give you attention you will be in your feelings if your mama if your mama yo yo baby daddy if your dad if your cousin your sister if nobody ever gave you attention bitch you will be sick you will feel like you're not important okay so i understood that i didn't take it as no type of way or nothing he was just basically saying he loves me but this is how he feels and this and that this and that cool now i was stuck between telling him what i seen and not telling him what i seen i actually came to terms with um i'm gonna tell him i told him i want to talk to him about something i told him i'm gonna tell him because i felt bad for invading his privacy honestly i felt bad for reading his journal and that's something that he was really feeling and I feel like I felt bad for reading his journal and then not telling him that I did even though it wasn't something I intentionally intentionally did I I felt bad y'all I'm but the aesthetic 
okay maybe i should just open it a little bit okay cool so boom i just went ahead and told him we were smoking or whatever because you know that's the best time to talk you smoking everybody calm everybody chilling like how can you be mad when you smoking you feel me he did kind of feel some type of way about me actually reading his journal but it was like nothing like niggas can do about it now like the journal hasn't been the journal already has been read so it's like you feel me but i know he did feel some type of way in a way for me reading it he didn't really have anything to say about what i seen or whatever i was like take your time and think about what you need to say before whatever i was like if you don't want to talk about it right now we could talk about it later and he said yeah we'll talk about it later but um he said he wrote that like a long time ago he said i don't even remember writing that he was like i wrote that a long time ago weeks went past um he went on vacation this man like i don't know he took me okay weeks went past we ain't talked about the shit in a minute so i kind of forgot about the shit no cap because i didn't think of, i didn't see a problem in what he said it was more of a i felt bad for reading his journal so i went and told him so weeks went past he's bringing me flowers to my salon suite you feel me bringing me flowers to my salon suite um he took me to my first ever live um professional um game sports game we went to go see the braves play um we was very late but we still got to go see it and i was smiling like he didn't tell me where we was going he just told me like okay get dressed get nice you know he went got his hair cut got him a, a fit and shit i went and got me a fit got my hair done got my makeup done and shit and we went and i had so much fun like when we was pulling up because it's it's kind of hard to not know you're going to the fucking Brave Stadium. So, like, when I seen that we was going towards there and we was actually there, I started smiling so hard because I was like, oh, like, I've never been to a professional sports game. And he really listened and he really took me here. So, bitch, I'm happy. I'm on cloud nine. We're living. We're having fun. Like, this might be for life. You know what I mean? So, I'm not thinking about that. I think he ended up going on vacation also. A couple weeks went past and he's like, okay, um, you know that the conversation we were supposed to have, we're going to have it this week or whatever. On, like, Wednesday or Thursday, he told me some shit like that. So, I'm like, okay, cool. The days is coming. The day he told me he was, we was going to have the conversation, he, we didn't have it. So, the next day, we had the conversation and we ended up smoking in my car. So, we're in the car, whatever. I'm not ready for anything this nigga's about to say because I don't know what he's about to say. He been doing a lot of things, like, as far as, like, sending me flowers and you know doing a lot of things that I really like and making me feel so loved so I'm not thinking this nigga's about to break up with me I'm thinking like I don't know anything else but, anything else with that I'm thinking he just about to explain himself about what I've seen or something I don't know I'm not gonna tell y'all exactly what he said because that's for me only he wrote me he wrote something out on his notes and he was reading it to me and shit like that after he said all that shit he was giving me like you know when somebody is trying to tell you something but they're not saying what they they're not saying it, but they're kind of insinuating it. And it's like they're beating around the bush and it's like, nigga. So you're basically saying that you want to break up. So I basically said that to him. I was like, so you're basically breaking up with me. Like, you're basically saying that we're going to break up. And he was like, uh, yeah. So I'm like, I, when I tell y'all, I didn't have shit to say. Like, after he said that, I was basically silent the whole time because I'm like, in shock like i'm like this just not happening like this nigga's pranking me oh yeah he's pranking me like i'm not even thinking i'm like oh yeah he's pranking me or something because like huh like i'm confused like this don't even make sense so he's like asking me so you don't got nothing to say boom boom and i'm like no like i didn't have like when i tell you i didn't have nothing to say like it was nothing on, on, on my brain my brain was blank and it was just like like, I don't know what you want me to say. I'm at to the point where I really don't want to have to beg no nigga to stay with me. Like, you either going to be with me or you are not going to be with me type shit. Like, that's how I feel now. So, yeah, I was just like, I don't know. I was kind of like in shock because it was just so like, boom, like fast. I don't know where. And that was that. But that morning I woke up, bitch. Reality hit me, bitch. Like, he was like, he was laying next to me, yes. But like, bitch, I was sad as fuck. Like, I was damn near crying. As soon as I, as soon as I opened my eyes, I was crying. Okay. And then I had work. I literally, because I was working a job at that time, I was working at a nursing home. So I had, also I had work. So it's like, boom, now I have to go to work. I woke up at four. We, we smoked later that night. I had to wake up at four in the morning to go to this fucking nursing home. This nigga done broke up with me and he's fucking laying in my bed. I really should smack the shit out this nigga. Okay. And then it's just like, I don't know. The whole day at work was just irritating and stressful. And it was just a lot. I feel like he didn't know if he wanted to break up or not. He wanted to be single, but he wanted us to still do the same shit. And I had to tell him, nigga, are you dumb? Like what do, okay, boom. What do I look like? We start off as cool friends, just kicking it. Like just, you know, not even no sneaky link shit. We just started off as kicking it, whatever, whatever, seeing where it goes, um, building a friendship. 
okay then we start dating dated for a while now you're gonna break up with me and i'm supposed to be just the bitch that is your ex-girlfriend that you still fuck on and do relationship shit with but you're not connected to in no type of way like you don't have no like no um like that's very much backwards to me so i have to tell the nigga like no that's not what we're doing like you're either gonna be with me or you're not gonna be with me okay period looking back at it we was broken up for two months and it's so crazy because i did not even know it was that long but a couple weeks went past a bitch i was really going through it when i tell you i was really going through it for like a good week and a half two weeks i was going through it bitch like going through it because this was like a long time boyfriend the longest relationship i ever had like this was my man okay like my man the fuck and the only man that has been on, like honest with me about anything, like he'll come to me, talk to me about anything. I'll talk to him about anything. Um, he's just honest with me. He just wanted to get his stuff together. So I understood why we was breaking up. He kind of wanted to get his stuff together and all the things that he didn't have, I was kind of providing for him, which is true. And he probably felt like, okay, this bitch is doing all this shit for me. And I, he don't want to get comfortable with me doing all this. And it's like, you feel me so i understood that fully i i totally understood the reason why he wanted to break up with me that's why i wasn't mad at him but it was just like it was so blinded like i was so blinded it just like fucked me up type shit so i was fucked up for two weeks i'm not gonna lie two weeks but then after that bitch i was i was, i'm not gonna say i was on demon time but i was just enjoying myself that was that that was very long i really i might have to chop up how much i said bitch because that just took a long ass time before we even get into when i got into his phone because that's kind of like the end of the story because once i got into his phone it's really like raps our feelings towards the shit was both mutual it wasn't like he was like fuck you bitch i'm broken up with you i'm about to go fuck on bitches and fuck on you feel me and i wasn't like fuck you nigga i'm about to go fuck on this nah we was kind of trying to get through it together instead of apart and i honestly feel like that breakup kind of made everything way better like to me i feel like our relationship grew from us breaking up and like having that time to kind of like you know get our mental right and like just kind of like know how to be separate you know even though we was still like you know laid up together and this and that i knew he was talking to other bitches but i was sure like i didn't have the proof that he was talking to other bitches like i was like we're broken up so like we're broken it's like okay boom we're broken up he don't owe me no loyalty because we're not together and even though we still laid up and we still you know do things or whatever it's like he can still go fuck with another bitch or still talk to another bitch and vice versa so i just was like when i get the chance to go through this man's phone i'm going through it that's what i decided i was like when i get a chance to go through this man's phone i'm going through it but only for to really know the vibes like, i need to know he don't hide his phone but he always has his phone with him okay so i knew i wasn't gonna get it at night because he was um spending most of his nights at his house and i was like kind of by myself bitch sick cold as fuck in the bed bitch nobody to cuddle with bitch but my pillow okay and i'm glad i got a little body pillow because that's the only you feel me thing i could hug at the time we ended up going to the city i forgot what we even went to the city for but we went to the city went to the city and we was hungry and usually i cook something but bitch i'm not cooking for you <laughs> he was like you want slutty vegan we was about to pass it and i was like sure like why not he's gonna pay of course still so yeah let's go to slutty vegan we park or whatever we cross the street we go into slutty vegan and we place our order we in the line waiting for our shit we get our shit we go in a car we go in the car. I think he opens his um he opens his burger to make sure that they got his shit right because he's the type of nigga where he don't want shit on his burger. Give him the meat, give him the um cheese, and that's it, bitch. Mustard, but he'll probably put that shit on by himself. Like, don't give that nigga no lettuce, no tomatoes, no ketchup, no pickles, no nothing on his burger, okay? Plain burger plain cheeseburger but they put some sauce on his burger or some shit and he was like oh yeah fuck no so he um we was already in the car so he grabbed his shit and he went into the slutty vegan but it was a line so he still was gonna have to wait in a way so bitch i'm in the car on my phone bitch tell me why i look up and then i look at the driver's seat the driver's side and this nigga left his phone on top of the fucking steering wheel like on top of the dash he left his phone there Bitch, I know that password, bitch. I'm in there. <laughs> bitch, I felt like I just won the motherfucking jackpot, nigga. I was like, okay, this, if this not God himself, cause who the fuck leaves their phone on the dash like that? You feel me? And I'm in the car. 
And you about to go get a whole new burger. They about to have to go cook that whole new burger, bitch. Fuck out of here, nigga. I was like, this is the time, okay? So, bitch, I grabbed that phone, baby. I'm like, hopefully he ain't changed his password already, bitch. No, he didn't. Got in that shit, typed in that motherfucking, oh, yeah, yeah, okay? And then I'm like, okay, I'm in this, bitch. I don't have much time. So we need to just go to where the TV, bitch, Instagram, first thing, bitch. Because that's where it really be at. The phone, like the regular messages, it's like, mm, that Instagram, bitch, that's where it's going to be at. That Instagram, maybe Snapchat, but who the fuck even gets on Snapchat anymore? Twitter. You don't even need to go through the phone to even find shit on Twitter, no cap. But baby, I went on that Instagram. I went in them DMs, okay? That's the first place a bitch went. Boom. This nigga don't delete shit off his phone. So I'm like, okay, boom. And I was really only going through the phone to know, like, okay, is this nigga, okay, is we really broken? <laughs> I was in denial, y'all. I was really in denial because I was like, this shit, like, y'all don't understand. Like, this shit happened so fast. It was no beef. It was no nothing before we broke up. It was like a, a mutual, it was just like a mutual, like, but we still cool. So, I was like, you know, is this nigga still fucking with bitches? Because I wasn't fucking with no niggas yet. You feel me? This is fresh, bitch. I'm going through it. I can't even fucking text another nigga, even slide up on a nigga shit because, bitch, it tears in my eyes. I'm th still thinking about my nigga, my real, my actual nigga, the nigga I want to be with. So I can't even, you feel me? So I just wanted to know if he was already fucking with other bitches because if so, baby, bitch, I was too, okay? That's just how it was going to be. Like, it's like little random ass shit, like, you know, little um heart eyes, like just... You know, little playful shit like that. I didn't give a fuck. I didn't, I wasn't going in there to like be like, oh, he's talking to other bitches. <laughs> no, I was going in there to see how I was going to carry it type shit. I was really just doing it for me personally. Went through the phone. Um, It was this one bitch, one bitch that I seen like, I think underneath his pictures like a while ago, like a very long time ago, but it was in, in but she was in his DMs recently. So I was like, okay, cool. Click that bitch, quick. The other, the other ones was little cute shit. Like I said, like hard eyes. They slide up maybe on his shit, hard eyes, or he slid up on their shit, hard eyes. And like you know, very like quick conversation. Like, uh, you're cute. Uh, uh, uh. That's it. This one bitch though, I was like, I seen this bitch on underneath somebody's shit, or maybe she followed me. I don't know, but I was like, no, this was like a bitch from where he was from. I think I can't even remember what was. I can't remember who was saying what because it was like a while ago, so I don't even remember. But basically, she said some shit to him. Oh, she slid up on one of his his stories or like one of his posts and was like, oh, I would, I would say this or I would do this or something, but you got a girlfriend. Bitch, how you want, first of all, for you dumb hoes, if you gonna slide in a nigga's DM, Bit, why are you bringing up another bitch? Like, bitch, you're supposed to be shooting your shot, bitch. Not worried about, you feel me? Like, bitch, you already took that L, bitch. And I hope you watching you. <laughs> bitch, you got no game. Bitch, you is not P, bitch. That's how you sliding on a nigga? Talking about a bad bitch. Oh. <laughs> bitch. Bitch. Don't blame me. But anyway. So, um, he's like, I'm single. Right there, I just wanted to slap the fuck out the nigga as soon as I seen him. Because I'm like, bitch, why are you even telling everybody you single? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I was like, so you just telling bitches you single now? Like, the fuck? <laughs> like, okay? Like, I guess. Like, you feel me? So, yeah, that's what he was doing. And then she was like, oh, you need, you deserve better anyway. Oh, you deserve somebody who look better anyway. Or some shit. This bitch said something about, oh... She don't look that good anyway, or or basically saying that a bitch was ugly, but it's like, like I said, bitch. Slim ways, <laughs> tap in, bitch. Come on. Let's really get into it, bitch. Let's really get into it. But you so, y'all lucky I don't have like skimpy clothes on right now, or I don't have something I can twerk in, but, bitch, fuck it. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. Stop playing with me, ho. Like, please stop playing with me, bitch. But yeah, that's what the hoe was saying. Clicked on the whole profile, no pictures. But who? Okay. Like, come on now. Like, bitch, don't speak on me. Don't speak on me, ho. So that's what she said. And he laughed and said, you hell. That's where I was like, bitch. That's where I was like, nigga, I should really slap the fuck out of you. Because you really should have told that bitch, ho, shut the fuck up. But then again, that wasn't my nigga. 
So, you know, whatever, whatever. So, tell me why. Okay, I'm going through the phone. I already seen that. I was like, ooh, that bitch a hater. So, I was just like, yeah, fuck that bitch. We on to the next thing. So, I'm still going. I'm still going. Because, bitch, I'm trying to see as much as I can see so I can know how to carry myself. You feel me? Carry it. So, I was like, okay, cool. Boom, boom, boom. Tell me why, while I'm going through the fucking phone, the nigga is coming back to the car. But I don't know because I'm so caught up in trying to see the shit that I don't know that he's walking back to the fucking car. So tell me why. Um, it, it was nighttime, so you feel me? It was like dark anyway. But of course, the light on his phone is bright as fuck, okay? So um, he goes and he starts pulling on the car handle because I, I, when I'm in the car by myself, bitch, that door is locked because ain't nobody gonna jump in and kill me, bitch. He's pulling on the shit, so I'm like, oh, shit but I, I have the phone in my hand so i'm like fuck i'm like damn they make that burger fast as fuck bro so i go and i take the phone and i'm trying to like hide it and shit but i open the door and i'm trying to hide the phone and shit and i'm looking at him like this are two things i'm thinking i'm thinking one his burger is done and he's about to get back in the car and now i'm thinking like how the fuck he's gonna look for he's gonna be like where's my phone he's gonna be looking for his phone and then it's like boom a bitch got it so it's gonna be like a <laughs> here, he, here you go you know I me mean? and i didn't want to be in that situation and then i started thinking like damn what if he co is coming back specifically for his phone and then it's like D <laughs> you feel me regardless so regardless it's like i'm fucked so i got his phone and i got i'm hiding the shit in between like this leg and like in between the door and my leg but then the phone fucking falls so the phone falls in between the seats so now this nigga is coming back and he's looking at me like the fuck is you doing that why are you looking at me like you guilty and i'm looking at him like huh and he's looking at me like he's looking around and shit and he's seen that my phone is over there but i was just on the phone and now that phone fell and now he's like where's my phone and then he sees me with the phone because i finally got the phone and i slipped it underneath my leg and he's looking at me like and then he goes takes his hand and goes in between my leg gets the phone looks at me like and then walks away, bitch. This nigga came in the car to get the receipt. So now my dumb ass is thinking the nigga is actually coming back in the car. And now I done lost the whole phone because he took it because a bitch just don't know how to keep it cool. So I'm sick. Well, I'm not really sick because I'm like, I already see what I got to see now. Like now your girl, I'm not on demon time still because I feel like demon time is like really outside. And um, really like, you feel me in the club like... <laughs> you feel me like no that's not the time i was gonna be on anyway because i was kind of like going to take that time to just focus on myself you know every time a bitch go through a breakup or you feel me focus on myself we finna level up yeah bitch that's the type of time i was on i guess or whatever so i wasn't even finna be on that but i was gonna sit there and you feel me talk to my niggas the fuck you feel me he come back in the car <laughs> wait <laughs> he comes back in the car and he's like all right so what you see because he's like, I know you're already going to start. I know you're going to be acting weird and shit like that. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not mad, nor am I going to be acting weird. I just, you know, seen what I needed to see, basically. And when I tell y'all, I was like the calmest I ever been after going through a nigga's phone. Like, I literally did not give a fuck about what that other bitch was saying. Like, it was just giving me the bitch is a hater. And really, I'm cute as fuck in her mind. And she's really mad as fuck because she's not me. And she's really mad that she can't get my nigga. That's what it was giving that's what it was really giving because the conversation ended there you didn't eat you didn't go nowhere after that you feel me so and then i wasn't mad about the other shit nothing like that i was just trying to figure out like am i gonna be talking to other niggas because i kind of like i said i was in denial so i was still kind of trying to see if i could figure all this out and get back with my nigga you feel me i wanted my nigga okay that's what i wanted but when i seen that he was still like we was still you know mm, but he was still mm, i was like okay we still gonna be him but i'm a <laughs> you know me? after that though i did go ahead and um express not express explore my options out here i don't want to say too much bitch but just know i met a couple cool guys like they're real cool they're real um nice or whatever me and my baby ended up getting back together because obviously he honestly could not handle um me being a single woman I honest, okay <laughs> let me not even say it like that we got back together because we love each other okay and we're meant to be so i told him straight up you don't know what the fuck you want and it's either you want a bad bitch or you want to be with the hoes you can do that because i feel like relationships is an option you don't have to be in a relationship it's not something forced upon you i hope y'all not getting forced into being relationships but it's not something forced upon you it's something that you choose to do so yeah y'all i went through that man phone um i got caught because i was so caught up in the shit he caught me 
and yeah we had got back together and then after we had got back together i was so pissed off because i'm like i really he really put me <laughs> this nigga really had me emotionally drained and stressed the fuck out for two straight months for no reason because now it's like you feel me like nigga i was stressed like very much stressed and it's so crazy because before he broke up with me bitch i felt like my life was perfect like i'm like my niggas acting great like my nigga like he always been acting good of course he always is you know good man but i'm like you know he's doing unexpected things like i'm happy like my business is going good my everything is just going good and then the nigga shits on my whole fucking life and tells me he's breaking up with me okay like more of the story anything can happen at any time make sure you protect yourself make sure you are just prepared you feel me because not everything is forever and even if y'all do get back together or even if y'all don't just you know everything is going to be okay did i cut off my niggas um of course the one nigga stopped texting him and i deleted him off instagram because it's just like you know i just don't even want you on my instagram like, i don't want to be sitting next to my nigga scrolling through stories and then your face pops up like that's fucking weird you feel me it's so crazy because when that situation happened like and after the situation we had got back together i was like i know he was talking to bitches and i was talking to niggas and now we're back together and i know people <laughs> and i remember i posted a picture of us on new year's and i was like i know some people like if he did talk to anybody that follow me or know of me or know about me and vice versa um or just niggas like going on my page and seeing that oh this bitch is all hugged up with this nigga it's so crazy because shit like that really happened in real life like couples go through shit or couples like break up and shit and then they go and they do their own thing and then they get back together and people be like oh i was just with her nigga or i was just with his bitch and bitch we wasn't together you feel me like that's why people should mind their fucking business because y'all don't know what people are going through in their relationship like me and that nigga was not together i'm pretty sure everybody probably still, still thought we was together because we're not even that couple or that people that um like go on social media and be like fuck this bitch fuck this nigga i'm single ah, 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 ah. you feel me no so i'm pretty sure people still still thought we were together and he was just doing his thing i was doing my thing do i care about who he was talking to no i would want him to tell me who he was talking to if the bitch was trying to be cool with me that's the only how anything else um it's like he he was single i was single so it really shouldn't fucking matter um and yeah that's that all right guys i think that's the end of my story time i really hope i'm not forgetting anything if i am or if i do have another story out of this i definitely will tell it um make sure you guys like comment share subscribe follow me on all my social media platforms comment down below any other videos you guys would love for me to do and yeah uh i think that's all i have to say so until next time desi out way too motherfucking wavy i can't imagine myself being basic i feel like the man when i'm thumbing through faces hide all this pain and this blowing